that. Focus. Hey, cheers, guys. Welcome back to the channel, AK Rome. I'm up here in Flag, I'm two hours north of Phoenix, up in Flagstaff. Um, right now, I'm at Namarco's Pizza, getting a beer and some pizza in. Not sure if I'm going to do a two-day backpack today for this weekend or one night. So as of right now, I'm just getting some beer, my favorite pizza, and uh, the next time you guys see me, I'll hopefully be out on the trail. Cheers. All right, made it to the trail. Me and Homer, one of my uh, favorite spots, um, not too far past the base of Snowbowl. So uh, I want to say it's uh, Service Road 222, I believe, free dispersed camping. Um, you know, find a spot to park, you can kind of head off. No actual designated trails, but um, this is where I come during the winter with my, uh, my pal surfer and get some fresh powder in. Interesting situation going on today. I'll explain a little more once I find a campsite, but impromptu bushcraft today. I'm gonna be making a shelter tonight for me and homie. Cause uh, somebody thought that he had packed his poles in his bag, but forgot the last backpacking trip. I let a buddy take my poles and never repack the bag cause I thought everything was in there. So, see you when we get to the site. A little over two miles, it was about 2.3 miles. Just kind of walking around trying to find a spot. So, like I said, interesting news. This will be the first impromptu bushcraft experience on the channel to date because uh yeah like i said i'd uh i thought i brought everything with the tent didn't i have a hammock um i could use the hammock i don't really like sleeping in the hammock because homer underneath me i don't really want to put him to a leash and then i don't want him off the leash so uh i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an a-frame right in between this area here so i'm gonna start cleaning out some of this watch homer go crazy you want to keep I kind of want to keep some of these pine cone or some of these pines the end of the pine needles but uh it's too many sticks it's way too many sticks so maybe I'll be able to use some of this as insulation so right now I'm going to uh, focus on going to find some uh larger fallen trees around here that aren't soggy and wet on the ground a lot of the wood around here is rotted um just from falling and uh I, we do not want that because I'm gonna have a lot of weight on the top of this A-frame. So, I'll take you guys along with me. Cool, so this guy was dead standing. Uh, it was kind of widow makered on another, on another uh, tree. Let's get, let's get in focus here. Um, so what I need to do now is I'm gonna kind of limit down, and I'm gonna measure it, and I'm gonna make the, the first support beam for the A-frame right in between these two, two trees here. Scored it about right here, let's see. So actually in the process of moving right now, uh, moving campsites, locations, I, uh, I missed scored that uh, last main A-frame um, support, the, the big beam. So it was too short in the gap of the, between the trees that I wanted on my venturing, trying to find a new um, larger beam. I found an area I liked a little better and uh, went ahead and already found a beam that way that I chopped up. So only, only, a, you know, th three or f three or four minute walk from where I just was, but uh, I think I'll like this spot a little better. All right, so if you can see, I made a notch here at the end of the main log. Made a notch just by cutting it, 
And then I'm finding a nice spot right here where it can kind of rest, you know, because I don't want it coming back on me in the middle of the night. So, yeah, test, good to go. She should stay there. All right, so now that we got the, uh, the main uh, part of the frame up, time to go gather the siding sticks. And there's a lot of fallen tree down here. Uh, just unfortunately, a lot of it is really moldy and really rotten. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can't find a couple dead standing and just push them down. All right, so the shelter's coming along, little A-frame. First time I've uh, put one up in a while. Be the first time I uh, also sleep bush camp style. So we'll see how I like it, you know? Should make a good uh, weekend adventure. But uh, I probably won't record again until I get all the uh, remaining logs up and then I'm gonna get some lunch. Props to all you bushcrafters out there. Setting it up stage one, sleeping in it is stage two. But uh, me and Homer right now are uh, taking a little break. Let me get some lunch in, got this sandwich eating right here. Walmart special, three bucks. Can't beat it, man. Don't too stingy with the mayonnaise, though. I'll hook you up later, bud. So the beer review is back. Draft beer review is back. Brought two IPAs up today. Should have got four. Can't wait. I'm excited for that. But cleared everything out in there. Pretty satisfied. Um, if it gets super cold, I do have my tent fly, the rain cover. So I'm either going to use that for my base layer underneath there on the bottom, or I'm going to put it up as a wind block. You guys are probably wondering, why is Dom putting so much focus, so many shots on the little crappy A-frame he put up? Well, it's the first time. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. Excited to see uh, see how it works out. Sleeping pad. Good R value. All right, so just got done clearing all the dead pine, everything out. Let to start collecting some rocks. Getting a good rock base going. Good to go. All right, well guys, Sun's just about to go down. Got about an hour and a half left. Yeah, it's five o'clock right now. So about an hour, 10 minutes. Just kind of hanging, me and Homer. Done everything I needed to. Fire pit, all set, firewoods gathered. Pretty satisfied with the size of the shelter. So just gonna hang out. Sony battery and it might be dying soon. So, bought a little calzone from the store. Threw it up in some tin foil. Should be pretty tasty. Homer's eaten. Calzone is done. Hold your horses. Ooh. Mmm. 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 That 250 from Walmart, son. Mmm. Better get you some. Pickle Rick. Just started killing Rick and Morty episodes, but all right. The draft brew is back. The first can we're going with is the Arizona Trail Ale. It's not too bad. Had it a couple times before. Never done the Arizona Trail, but one day I'd love to. We are at, what's the percentage on here? Only 6% on this guy, but still not bad. A little smoky, huh, bud? Guys, 
so it's gonna get a little chilly out tonight. I uh, didn't bring a hat, didn't really bring anything. Always need to be prepared, but uh, yeah, it's supposed to be 38 tonight. Um, I'm not too worried about myself. My sleeping bag is rated to zero, um, but Homer, I didn't bring a jacket for Homer and I only have a Reflectix pad and an extra sweatshirt for him on the side. Um, Cause once again, I wasn't planning to bushcraft and make an A-frame tonight. Planned to be in a two-person North Face, but uh, forgot the poles. But either way, good experience. But got about 13% left on the battery. I want to show you. Here's the second beer we got going here. Let's see. Homer's barking at uh, a hummingbird. You know how they make that weird noise. All right, so this guy, I'm excited about this. BHC Dippa. Double IPA, boys, from Scott Brew in Durango, Cal or Colorado. Not too bad. 8%. So hopefully this one gives me a nice, nice buzz because that's all she got. That's all we got for the night. And then I have some steaks that we are going to, hold on, let me get out of here. I got some steaks. We're going to cook up, hopefully, if the battery, uh, wants to stay could use my phone afterwards but we're running out of battery there as well so get these guys opened up really cool knife just acquired from france openl oh wasn't even in the wasn't even in the shot openl super cool knife all right there just gonna season this these guys up forgot some steak seasoning luckily I stopped at my buddy's Peter's house I mean Carter had some extra seasoning they didn't mind let me borrow all right ooh I hear some coyotes <laughs> you guys probably won't be able to hear that nice they're calling. Well, I'm too focused on this right here. Let's get it down. Wow, there's a lot of them. Mm -mm -mm. Man, I'm shocked actually that it's uh, this cold already. You know, first week of October. That's nuts. But I do remember I have done quite a bit of winter camping up here in Flag in the same area. Um, but it's definitely a chilly night tonight without any snow, you know? But uh, I'm excited to try out this little A-frame guy. Watch a lot of Joe Robinette. If you guys bushcraft, Joe Robinette, the leader basically of the outdoor bushcraft. Same with uh, TA Outdoors, both those guys. I actually learned how to do that A-frame from TA Outdoors a couple weeks ago, so. Um, not the best A-frame first time putting it up, but I'll dig it. A couple last sips, got the Chaco koozie. Ah, why do I never bring a couple more IPAs? But yeah, it was really cool. A bunch of coyotes just started howling and Homer started freaking out. Sounded pretty healthy. Ooh, these guys are looking good. About to flip them. That's some hot, hot stuff, man. Ah, this is gonna be rough, guys. Oh no, can't get it. Whew. That's hot. go oh, my cell phone's still alive the Sony 
that I'm filming on right now that you're seeing has 9% left. So, take this out of the way for right now. Um, I'm gonna sleep with my camera in my sleeping bag tonight, as well as my phone. Um, that way I can hopefully continue to record. Uh, I'll let you know. But take my shoes off. Let's see. Oh. oh yeah, not too shabby. I'll get under the sleeping bag here in a sec. Think it's gonna be comfy, bud? Alright guys, see you in the morning. It's not the next morning, it's the next night. Unfortunately, my Sony battery died, phone battery died, as per usual. I should have known. I even I even brought the solar charger and tried to get her going too, but um didn't didn't work at all. So uh thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe, link, peace, dog.